My name is Zerzu Zyklin and welcome to my channel. You know, I've talked with my client several times about finding auditors in our area. I've told them that there's not very many. As a matter of fact, there's only one that I have ever featured on my channel. Well, he was thumbing through Facebook and he found today's story. Now, I picked up on what he was selling because he used to work for the company. You see, he worked under a contract for Bonneville Power Administration for 25 years. He worked as an armed security guard. Now, I personally have been in this building several times, prior to COVID and prior to 9-11. Now, even before 9-11, the security in that building has always been pretty tight, and it makes sense. Right next door is the 9-11 building. They are under a Department of Defense contract. And that exact building houses the power grid for the entire Northwest. There really shouldn't be too much of a problem getting into this building if you're not a Karen. Simply tell them that you need to go to the library and give them ID. Now, as you may know, the Supreme Court has ruled on several completely unrelated cases that ID is not necessarily a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Now, these rulings have absolutely nothing to do with the entrance of a building. But I would imagine that if this was brought before the Supreme Court, they would have the same opinion. ID is not a Fourth Amendment violation. I mean, I guess in a way it could be, but you don't absolutely have to relinquish your ID. You don't have to go in. It's that simple. So with that said, I don't think the guy in today's video is breaking the law at all. I think he is a Karen, and he's making life extremely hard for himself, for absolutely no reason. Well, Karen, making life difficult for yourself doesn't make you press. Now, this video is one of those great journalistic practices of starting the video at a random location. What were you doing in front of that door that made her come out? No. So, unfortunately, this is a federal building, so unless you have an appointment, you can't be here. Ooh. I've already dealt with this a couple times, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's just go from step one to step ten. Call Federal Protective Services. Have them come down because, yeah, that's in no universe accurate. Wow, really, Karen? Maybe it is in no universe accurate, but you went right to the Federal Protective Service? Now, if I was a reporter, I might say, wait a minute, ma'am, I'm press. My name is so-and-so. I work for so-and-so. Even if it's myself as an independent journalist, at least you're telling them what you're doing. And then I might even conclude that with, here's my portfolio. This is what I do. I need to talk to somebody to find out how to get into this building today. Is there a public relations officer on hand? And I'm sure she would have got it for you. That's so inaccurate. I couldn't come up with a better fantasy story if I was a professional author. I told him this is a federal building and unless he has an appointment, yeah. he Best bet is just call Federal Protective Services, have them come down, and I'll just uh, deal with them. Because okay. you're literally going out of your way to be the most incorrect person in the world. Right there on the wall, you see that placard? Yes, sir. Can it I, literally says I can do Can this. I help you with anything today? No, actually, I really don't want to have any interaction with you guys. I'm going to go in my building and check things out. Wait a minute. They went out of their way? You know, I've been to that building. There's like half a football field to get up to the front door. The only person who has went out of their way is you. You have went out of your way to find a way to be annoying. Okay, can I get can I get your name? Would that be okay? You no. know, Gandalf. I'm sorry? Gandalf. The Gandalf? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir, that's Gandalf, the wonderful wizard of duh.
All right, well, if you like, you can go. You're more than welcome to go and wait around right here. We'll notify Federal Protective Services. Yeah, I'm going to go to the lobby. lobby. So The lobby actually is not open to the public. Yeah, that is. See? It's yeah. not open. Look at that. Yeah, you, but going past this point, though, no. this is the threshold in the building where somebody would need to get screened to proceed. Oh, yeah, I'm totally fine getting screened. Okay, if you'd like to get screened, this area is open to the public for the initial inside portion, but further going into the building is not. You actually have to be, have federal credentials to do that. And that is exactly what CFR 41 says. Now, as far as entry into the building, as I said, that building has the power grid inside. I personally would like to know who entered the building when the power grid goes out because somebody decided to put an explosive device there. Now, how exactly would they manage that? Well, they just simply wobble around a camera and walk right up and drop it off. I mean, think about it. If we don't know who goes and comes from some federal buildings, how would we ever stop spies from spying on us? They just walk around and drop their bugs everywhere. I mean, is it comfortable giving up your ID and walking through the cancer gate? No, not necessarily. But, you know, you can choose not to go. Ooh. Let me clarify what you're saying there. You're saying I can go into all the publicly accessible areas, I just can't go into offices, right? Correct. Yeah, totally fine. Yeah. All right. There we go. You guys okay, hear the- so you want, to, you want to be screened? I think I hear the call of the bald eagles. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to be clear about one thing. I want no Fourth Amendment violations, so I'm not giving you my identity. I'm not going to provide you any identification. If you ask for it, I'm not consenting to it. I also don't consent you going through my personal effects, other than conducting the scan that you need to do. Okay, now I already know that you're going to try some digital trickery, but you will give up your ID to go in that building. Okay. On the same page? Do you have any guns, knives, or weapons? No, no weapons whatsoever. No prohibited items? Nope, not a single thing. I'm going to wait for him to come back and then you go. Sure, you bet. So what happened... Just between the moment where you said I can't come in and then all of a sudden he said I could. So what happened there? I don't know. They might have decided that they wanted to accommodate the crybaby in the lobby. You know, one of those things called a de-escalation tactic. Let the ding-dong wobble his camera around for a little while. Don't say anything to him and hope he goes away. We can wait for him to come back because I know you're recording. Yeah. I know you're doing this. I'm doing this for fun? Yeah. You don't even know what I'm here for. You told me. You're just here to walk around. That's what you said out there, isn't it? I impress. Didn't you say you were here to look around? Didn't you? I thought you said that's, yes. what I, that's what I just said. As press, I'm here to look around. Oh, now you're press. Okay. I was just, I, that's what I thought you told me out there, so I was confused. I chose not to divulge it at that point. Darn tyrant. She forgot to be a mind reader. Okay, that's fine. Part of the story is this. I got tips and leads that security in this particular federal building has problems with understanding the basics on entering federal buildings, attitude issues, just general employee issues, and I am not left wanting. You have, uh, you have, not, you have knocked the ball out of the park. Oh, okay. Into the basement. So. Uh, you were looking for FPS, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely, send them over. That's actually more that building now, so. Oh, no, I, I don't go to them, they can come to me. I mean, why not? When you're standing up for our rights, may as well waste our tax dollars, too. It'd be a little awkward when we get over here, too. Oh, would it? Yeah. How come? Because they didn't end up telling you to read the fine print on that plaque over there for 41 CFR 102.74.440. It's that whole First Amendment thing. It's just so inconvenient. Granted, you could fill out an application to become a citizen of Russia or North Korea. It's a little more told what to do and how to live your life over there. So. You know, you guys love to mention those places. They're a place that I would love to send people like you for just one year so that when you return to the U.S., you will love the U.S. They were just about to check you in. We got to the ID part and you became a moron. I have to ask you a question. What exactly do you think that expensive equipment is for? You haven't mentioned it at all. If you are able to just walk right into that building without anybody ever talking to you or without checking in, why would they have any of that equipment? So you're okay with the government wasting all kinds of money setting up a secure area, as long as you can just ignore it and bring whatever you want inside. Kind of a 
more constrained existence. Yeah. So. so, are you guys going to continue to delay press going in and doing my First Amendment protected activities, or what? Yeah. So if you'd like, so we can go ahead and screen here to get in the building. However, part of our screening process is that we will need to verify a form of valid government issued ID. That is 100% okay. not accurate. 41 CFR 1027440 does not say that. Okay. There is no requirement to enter this building with identification. I don't have it. All right. Well. That is per our policy, per the building policy, what we're supposed to enforce to be able to get you in. Hold on but minute, I'd love Kelly. to be able to help get you in. If yeah, that's slow down, Kelly. Like what I'm do. saying is, is building policy. So you got policy, administrative codes, statutes, and federal regulations. Yada yada yada. As I said before, you will give up your ID to come in this building. Of course, you will try some camera trickery, but I will point that out too. So you, you can't take the bottom and put it over the top. So the federal statutes, the one you've got on your wall out there outside the door, sure. that's like higher up the food chain. It's sort of the boss of the policy. So when the policy is inconsistent in the statute, you can't prohibit that. Okay, I understand what you're saying, but Certainly still though, that is the rules that we need to yeah. follow to be able to get Why you Let me get FPS over here, because you guys are about to make an enormous mistake. All right, well, they're being notified now. Good. Yeah, yep. you guys are. So you'll have to wait right here until they come. I get it. Yeah, I'm not going to proceed through. Perfect. What do you mean? According to you, they're blocking your forward progression. Just barge right through. Just don't delay me unnecessarily. I think SCOTUS has talked about those kinds of abridgments of liberty. Honestly, FPS just comes when they like, so. Yeah, I know. It's, it, it's just really inconvenient when those nine people on the Supreme Court, they just. It's almost like they just make up random rules and, you know. Almost like how Oh. Is that how we do professional security here at a federal building? Is that really how you conduct yourself? Well, you know, I hate to say it, but yes, that is exactly what the SCOTUS does. They just sit up there and make rules half the time. Have you seen what they've been ruling on? I mean, I know what their intended purpose is, but that was lost a while ago. I mean, what do you expect when you give a group of men and women a title for life? Now you keep talking about professionalism. You walked up and you said something about, oh, it's my right to do this. And could you please help me with my fetish and get the FPS for me? Now, if you were professional press, you would calmly wait until the FPS got there and explained your side of the story. But nope, you're sitting here rambling like a stupid little Karen. Why do you got to be so unprofessional? What's with the attitude? And there goes your first bit of camera trickery. My guess is they completely ignored you for a little while. And you continued to ramble at yourself, realizing afterwards when you loaded this video that you looked like a fool. You cut that part out. Now you are security, right? You're not FPS. No. Okay. So. This building is not run by FPS. That building is. Uh, it's not run. They're Federal Protective Services for all GSA government buildings, which is one of these. This is, that is, all of it is. Can you guys get anything right? They are under the Department of Energy, and through a presidential order, they are given Federal Protective Services. So there's something that you lack that they lack, and that's called qualified immunity. The next time you try to abridge my right to enter one of my buildings, you're not going to have the protection of qualified immunity. So when you get listed in a civil suit, you know that whole Seventh Amendment thing? Again, really awkward. Uh, you are won't you have... to show who you are? No. Actually, you know what this is? It's called freedom. No one ever gets my identification. No one ever gets to identify me because I always stay within the bounds of the law. And as frustrating as it may be, and as much as you may want to identify me. Man, shut up. I'm going to skip forward a little bit. Soon the Federal Protective Services will be here. I'm sure they will allow him in the building after he gives his ID up. I don't know if you're religious or not, but I pray to the gods that you guys don't try to run the clock out till 5 o'clock. Because that tactic's already been ruled on by the courts too. That's one of those, uh-oh, someone's paying off my mortgage moments. So... I'd make sure you guys don't try to play silly games, win silly prizes. Just never works out well for people, especially when you don't have qualified immunity. It's awkward on a whole new level. 
And here's the next odd cut. Instead of cutting out the terrible sound, he cut to the terrible sound. Do you think she ignored him some more? Oh, it's Michael from the IRS this morning. <laughs> And 1414. My God, it's 1414 and Michael. How the hell are you two doing? Hey, Steve, how are you? Pretty good. Okay, then what, why did you guys show up? Oh, well, you know, some people are not as familiar with the rules and regulations. So I'm letting you know that you can. Yeah, just looking to get in my building and take a poke around. Yeah, uh, this building and the building across, they're, they're both closed to the public right now. Really? That one's having a seismic upgrade done. Mm -hmm. And then due to COVID, uh, BPA has not reopened its 5.0. It's funny, I mean, the doors are completely open here. You're right, yeah. But so uh, where's, the, uh, where's the rule that they have to buy CFR posts on the wall? Because I looked right next to the handy dandy 41 CFR over there that you guys have on the placard. Shockingly enough, there was no ordinance, no order, no executive order. So, and, and gosh, you, you know those have to be posted by CFR, right? You, you probably uh, you probably understand that I'm not uh, General Service Administration, uh, but I will talk to them about getting something because if they are going to be closed to the public in 5.0, yeah. Be the yeah. Oh, all right. Regardless of the text that you are trying to put on the screen to describe what happened, it is very clear the exact moment that you went over to check in, you cut the camera. Now that noise, that had went on for three minutes. You couldn't let the noise go for a couple more minutes to finish the check-in? No, because you gave up your ID, idiot. All right, so this is the inside of the Bonneville Power Administration Building. Beautiful. I just have to say, Federal Protective Services did a fantastic job. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. They upheld my liberties. They did the right thing. And it's a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful building. And as I said, even when in conflict with the Department of Energy, Liberty rings true, and I entered my building, no one knows who I am. Well, he's about to do a strange little cut here again, because pretty much there's just hallways. The only open areas is the library, and maybe the cafeteria, but I believe the cafeteria closes a couple hours before they close. Now, the library there isn't like any other library. It only has information on Bonneville Power Administration. And when I shut off the camera, I was going through security, so they ended up, uh, there was a little bit of conversation I didn't catch, but uh, it basically revolved around Department of Energy attempting to say they had to get my identification, and FPS said... Oh, darn it, but you cut that, so I think I will too. Around here, we call that hearsay. Now, I didn't do that to manipulate what you said. You clearly said that you didn't have to give up your ID but you cut that part out. And right now, you are boring the snot out of me, so I think I will use the magic of technology to skip to the point when you go away. Boy, this, I mean, truly, I guys, I mean, this is, this is a beautiful complex. I mean, it really is. It's, it's marble inside and out. That's incredible. Wow. I mean, this is, I really mean it. I mean, you guys, let me know what you think. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful complex. The only thing I don't like is like when they got the shades drawn over there, it kind of gives it that, I don't know, not so great, but look at that dome and everything. And inside was gorgeous, wow. And if you guys noticed, victory is mine and yours. I was able to, uh, get into the building, those two FPS uh, officers upheld my liberties, my ability to get in. Uh, specifically something that wasn't caught, I think, on uh, camera. Oh, let me guess, was the stuff that you left out? On video recording was um, when Michael, one of those FPS agents or officers said, 
Oh darn, I had to cut it again. Remember that hearsay thing? As always, you guys are awesome. Remember, you don't have to be wise. Just don't submit to stupid. Thank you very much, and have a good day. That was Up, Up, and Away by Elaine Greystark, courtesy of Conspiracy Music. 